we went on a quick trip to Seattle for the 4th of July holiday. Here are some of the things we saw while we were there. You can see the monorail going up right there, just like Disneyland. And over to the right here, you can see a, a thing. The, the right is uh, the Museum of Pop Culture. We went in there and it was pretty cool. They have some cool things to look at and uh, things you can actually interact with as you'll see later on. And there's the Space Needle. We didn't go up the Space Needle because there's a lot of people and it, and it's it's kind of pricey too. It's like a, like almost like fifty dollars for one person to go up. So it'd be like a hundred dollars for two people. So it's not that cheap. But it it looks cool. And uh, we'll probably go up one day. But uh, we didn't have enough time to uh, go up this time. So I have to catch it next time. And here's the museum of pop culture pop culture and this is the entrance of the museum of pop culture and I thought this guitar display was super cool I don't know how many guitars are here but there's a lot and it it's probably worth just going in to see see this display of guitars. Lots and lots of guitars. And you can go to this other section where you can just play, uh, you can play drums. Uh, there's little like booths that you can kind of do like pretend you're a rock star or something and uh, play uh, drums or... And here's a, this, this, you can see the Space Needle through the window. I think it looks super cool. And again, this is inside the Pop Culture Museum. And somebody's jamming out with their friends in one of these rooms that you can play in. And here's the monorail. So the monorail costs like, uh, I think it, for both of us, one way it costs like 350. But it's a really fast trip. It's only like a few minutes long. So this is basically what you're gonna see if you take the monorail. But we were staying at the Grand Hyatt on Pine Street and from uh, you can catch the monorail to the Space Needle from there so it's a nice we just taking a ride back to our hotel and this is kind of downtown Seattle And here we're walking down to the famous Pike Place Market. And this is a, a famous market that's been around for over a hundred years. And everybody goes to. We had gone the night before, but it was the 4th of July and it was already like closing time. So most of the shops were closing. So we went to go back because we saw some nice t-shirts from uh, Jimi Hendrix because our son is a Jimi Hendrix fan and so we wanted to get him some shirts that we saw and so here we're walking down to that shop where those shirts were so we could uh, you know take them back as gifts for our son but the first time we came since it was almost closing time there was hardly anybody 
uh, walking around because most of the shops were closing up. But then when we came back, there's a lot of people, as you can see. But it's a pretty cool market. And here we're going down to the shops to go buy uh, those t-shirts that we saw. And just over to the left here is where we bought the t-shirts. In this shop right here. And later on we walked over to Miner's Landing and the Seattle Great Wheel. I think Seattle looks pretty cool. It's in the cool city. Here's the Seattle Great Wheel. And Miner's Landing. And there always seems to be street performers. Wherever there's tourists, there's always street performers. And here's a view of the Seattle Great Wheel. I like that totem pole, it's kinda cool. And over to the left, they have this thing called, uh, I forgot what it was called, but it's like a 4D show where you can, it's like kind of like California soaring type show. And you can also take cruises out from Miner's Landing. There's a bunch of cruise ships that you can take out and take a cruise out. Or you can ride the Great Wheel. And as I said, my son is a really a uh, Jimi Hendrix fan, and he gave us a guitar pick to put on in this guitar right here in the Jimi Hendrix Memorial. And so this is the Jimi Hendrix Memorial in Seattle, and I think it's a, a really cool memorial. And uh, I placed uh, his guitar pick in the guitar, and I'm just focusing into where it's at. in the middle
next got a few kids.